You ready? Well, um, ladies and gentlemen of the press, uh, we have uh, a visitor here today who does not need introduction. You know him. The general is uh, a good friend of this country, and he's uh, in transit uh, to Addis Ababa. And um, he just uh, came uh, for breakfast, we've had breakfast, and um, he is the one who's got information to share, after which I'll say something at the end. So the general, the floor is your caribou. Thank you very much, brother. <coughs> well, um, I, uh, I, I am very gender sensitive. So when they say gentlemen of the press, I say ladies and gentlemen of the press. And because here is uh, my sister, is not a gentleman, it's a lady. And uh, so um, I, I think the beginning is to look at our situation in Africa. Or in fact, start on the, broader, the broadest uh, plane look at the situation in the world today the other day somebody told me that there are 67 wars that have been fought in the world today 67 wars there are so much uns uh, uncertainty there's so much insecurity there's so much instability there's so much unpredictability in the world. And when you bring it nearer home, uh, Africa, in all this, Africa is victimized because we get the wrong end of the stick all the time. So what can we do? I believe that one instrument that we have in Africa that we can use to our advantage at the community level, at the uh, local level, at the national level, at the continental level is our continental organization the AU and um, the AU if it will serve the purpose that is meant to serve it requires the right person at the right time and this is a time that we in Africa and working with the rest of the world, we need to get AU to be what it should be. They are doing what they, they can do because AU got me and uh, two, with a sister and a brother, to look at the situation of Tigray and the federal government of Ethiopia. But there's a lot more that is wrong with Africa today. My own part of uh, the continent, West Africa, is riddled with government that had not come through uh, constitutional uh, means is riddled with insecurity, is riddled with 
um, uh, poverty, unemployment, and you can see uh, similar thing even for this part of Africa. So if in less than a year there should be a change of button at the AU level, um, maybe some of us should take it upon ourselves to assist our incumbent leaders to make sure that we look and search and advise. And so part of my visit was really three. One, Brother, Brother Laura is uh, a friend of many, many years. What year did we go to Kasumu? Like, uh, uh, Kasumu to, uh, for the f final funeral of... Uh, Jeremy. Uh, 1995. 1995. Uh, 1995. And when I came back and went back to Nigeria, I was charged with uh, uh, treason. Treason not only because they say I wanted to topple the government of Nigeria, but also because I came here because I want to topple the government of uh, Kenya because I went for the uh, funeral rite of the leader of opposition. Now, that's as far back uh, as uh, uh, we have been friends and now have been friends of the family and particularly of Ryla. So consulting, searching, what can we do? Um, and consulting. I, second thing is that not too long ago I was here uh, with the President of the Republic, President Ruto, and Raila. And um, we went to Mombasa. Yes. We went to Mombasa, and uh, the outcome of that exercise was uh, five each from the two parties to form a committee. And I understand that committee have done uh, impressive work. Well, of course, in my part of the world, we believe that when you put yam in fire, you must be able to turn it over so that it's not overburnt, uh, overdone. So I want to see what progress we are making in that line. Um, I will be seeing the uh, uh, president with whom, of course, I'm also regularly in contact. And the third is what I said earlier on. Now, can we be looking? Um, we need um, a person, man or woman, who has experience, who understand uh, the situation we are in, who comes from a background that can uh, make uh, a difference. And um, uh, of course, that consultation means no, the people that I, from my own understanding of the situation and uh, what I know of Africa, haven't been involved with Africa for more than five decades. Um, what sort of people? Some time ago, I was one of those who 
midwived because we believe that people who have held the position of head of government either at the prime minister level or at the presidential level will be able to knock at the door of incumbent prime ministers and uh, presidents without much ado. And uh, such people uh, will probably be the right person armed with other attributes uh, at this particular time. And um, uh, as I was saying, uh, we midwife Konare in some years back. And uh, maybe at this time, we should be looking at that sort of. But whoever we look for must come from a country that is is not of extreme, extreme in any sense, and uh, where there are no much antagonism against such country. Um, then, when you look at those who have held that position before, um, I believe strictly uh, it should be the turn of East Africa. Uh, not too long ago, we had South Southern Africa. Um, the one now, whose time will be ending, is Central Africa. Uh, before that, as I said, we had Konare from West Africa. Um, I believe it should be the turn of Eastern Africa uh, or East Africa. And um, can we find such a person? I believe, yes, we can. Um, but such a person should not be the candidate of his country. He should be the candidate of the region. And uh, if the region can come together and put such a candidate forward, I believe um, that should be the way we, we should go. And that's the main point of my visit before I go to attend the AU meeting for the 17th and the 18th. And um, I have no doubt in my mind that my friend could easily be a viable candidate. Uh, but that, of course, is subject to the views, feelings, and, of course, the uh, 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 position and the uh, presentation of our leaders in the East African sub-region. And then, then if uh, the region puts a candidate forward, I believe the rest of the continent will go along with that. That's what I am consulting about. That's what I am. Um, working out and I hope and pray that God will help us. Africa needs to stand up and stand up firmly. There's so much at stake in Africa today that we need to get it right. Thank you. Thank you, General. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I can only add that um, I have been consulting 
widely among friends. As the general said, he is one of my closest friends on the continent. And uh, I intimated to him that um, if there should be interest, uh, I would myself be, be keen to serve the continent of Africa. Mainly because uh, as a Pan-Africanist, I believe strongly that Africa is um, playing in a league that it should not play. That Africa deserves better. Africa um, is the, we can say, the cradle of uh, human uh, humanoid species. The first human who walked on this earth was an African. And Africa is also the cradle of human civilization. The Africans started using steel and silverwares before any other human beings elsewhere started doing so. Africa is the richest continent on the planet Earth in terms of minerals and general raw materials. It is a paradox that the richest in terms of resources is also the poorest. Uh, this is something that we need to reverse. And it can only be reversed if we as a continent marshal all our resources for the faster socio-economic growth of our continent. And African economies can complement each other. I have served the AU in the capacity of uh, infrastructure a high representative. That position gave me a good uh, advantage to be able to learn about each and every African continent, uh, c country, what they have, the comparative advantages, and so on. And I believe that uh, working together with all these countries, we can be able to emancipate Africa. Uh, there is right now brain drain out of our continent. It is also actually appalling to see African, young African people drowning in the Mediterranean in search of greener pastures out of the continent. This is something that can also be reversed. Those are, those, those are the ones that can get to the Mediterranean. Mm. Some perish on the Sahara. Yeah, so before they get to the Mediterranean. But all the same, the fact is that they, they end up all dying. It's a tragedy that ought to be reversed. And because of all these considerations that I, I am inclined to accept the challenge, I should the, the leadership of Africa uh, want my services, I am ready and offer myself to be of service to this continent. And I've asked my friend to continue to be a good ambassador uh, and, and talk to other people elsewhere. I don't want to say much more than that. And therefore today I, I want to make it pu public that I'm ready, yes, to go for the chairmanship of the African Union. Thank you.